Hi, this is lesson number 47 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create brush, how to define brush and how to apply in our canvas or in our image. So here in my screen, I have two images. The first one is cloud with the bright blue sky and second image is having sea with beautiful pinkish and blue horizon. We will define this cloud as a brush and then we will apply in this image. So let's get started. If I will open the layer palette, here you can see this is the thumb of this image. So the first thing we need to desaturate this image. In order to create brush, we need to make the content black with white or transparent background. Desaturate first, the image is selected. Go to image menu, adjustment, and here we have option desaturate. You can also use keyboard shortcut shift control U. So if I will click here, our image is black and white. Now the second step is to get the black background, later we will invert. So we will use level command, click on image, adjustment, level. You can also use keyboard shortcut control L. And here we are going to make it really black. You need to make sure that the background is black. Now we are going to invert the image. So click on image, adjustment, invert. Brush required black content with the white or transparent background. Now we are ready to define the brush. So we can make selection around our image that we want to define as a brush. A rectangle marquee tool is selected. Click on drag to draw a selection this way. Click on edit, define brush preset and here we can name cloud, click OK and now my mouse pointer is holding a brush. Control D to deselect that brush we are going to use here. Our brush tool is selected and if I will click here at the bottom new brush is created. So this is the brush we are going to use here. At this point our brush size is really big. We can reduce by pressing square bracket next to the letter P right and left a square bracket you can use to increase and reduce the brush size. Another thing if we will place the brush this time it will stick with the background it will be part of the background. So we can create new layer we can name it cloud this layer is selected make sure that your color is white before you apply the brush. In my case the color is white click it. So here we have a cloud. Look at this from this side we have a little bit white. If I will bring it down here now you can see clearly the white little bit around. So this is very easy to fix with the eraser tool. Click on eraser and make sure that the hardness is zero. The cloud is selected and simply erase the area around this way. Bring it back. Somehow this is already okay because this area is transparent. So we can see some pinkish in the cloud. But if you want to affect the upper area, you can use gradient map. Let's apply gradient map on this cloud. The cloud layer is selected. Add new adjustment layer, choose gradient map. Here we have gradient color. This time we are going to take gradient map. At this point, the gradient map is affecting the entire image. To limit the effect, we need to clip. Click on this button, click to clip. Now gradient map is affecting only the cloud area. You can see black on the cloud. It's mean in the gradient map, we need to change the black color, it will affect our image. If I will reverse here, now you can see the white. 
on the cloud. It means if we will change white color in our gradient, it will affect the image. So, since it is a white, if I want to edit this color, I can click on this bar. We are not going to do anything with the black. We will change the white color. Let's apply some light pink. Click OK. OK. Now we can control by opacity. Click on layer and here we have gradient map. Let's reduce the opacity to zero. So, this is the original real color of the cloud and let's add a little bit pinkish to match the environment and that's fine. Now, if I will turn off this layer, you can see clearly this how gradient map works. This way you can create brush, you can define brush and apply in your image. Make sure that the brush content it is black and the background is white or transparent. If you want to learn more about Photoshop or CorelDRAW, the both playlists are added on the end screen of this video. You can watch. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.